recording. Did you hit the button? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all forgive me. Uh, <laughs> Caitlin's probably going to throw something at me in a minute. <laughs> oh, Lord. This has been crazy day. We've been having so much fun. Um, love meeting all the artists. Mr. Tyler Booth dropped by for a few. Thank you for having me. This is fun. Oh, I love it, man. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you made it. it. You've probably had 100 interviews by now. I've had a few today. <laughs> just a few. Yeah, because yeah, we sat there talking about bourbon a while ago. I was just like, everybody, I've told them, well, you know, where's the steak? Where's the baked potato? Where's the bourbon? Where's the Yeah, something? where's the bourbon at? <laughs> <laughs> they took off with the bourbon. They won't let us have the bourbon. Hmm. Brother, you have been just like chitting it and getting it and kicking ass all over. Yeah, just trying to stay busy. I've been out on the road. I just got back from uh, Europe and the UK. I was with Darius Rucker mm -hmm. supporting his shows, and that was amazing. I just got back, and I took about a week off, and then uh, just kind of started getting back in the studio a little bit and fixing to start playing again next weekend playing a hard rock stage tomorrow but awesome then, but then this weekend i'll next weekend i'll be in louisville kentucky so that'll be cool oh man that'll be awesome yeah are you up from around that way ain't you yeah um uh, so it's a town called campton it's kind of close to pikeville i always say if you know where prestonsburg is or hazard it's actually like right by it so, okay yeah yeah you know yeah because i'm right there at portland right there at the, at the border right there oh cool you can come over and have bonfire and drink bourbon all you want. I don't care. We'll have bourbon there. <laughs> Not at CMA Fest, but we'll have it there. <laughs> we'll have it there. You never freaking know, man. But, yeah, I seen you just come back from tour. Did you get to wander out a little bit? Same, so I'm an architecture guy. I love beautiful oh, old buildings. You would have loved it. You would have loved it. Uh, it's crazy. Like the churches and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's old, so old. And, like, uh, it's just crazy all the, like, architecture it's insane it really is it's beautiful and like old and rustic and we was uh walking up in castles in york and oh, i'm was, so it was jealous crazy. it was awesome i am I so jealous them. i love them old castles man. it's cool <laughs> they, they, some of the ones over in like old germany and mm -hmm. stuff they are just like beautiful germany's cool too we got to play there it was great it was great awesome they love, love country it. music that crowd was into it and i was are you finding it kind of a little bit weird? Yeah. I mean, doesn't it? Well, they all speak German. I, I didn't realize they knew any of the words that we were singing, but they knew most of Darius, well, all of Darius' songs and some of mine. So it, it blew me away. <laughs> <laughs> it did. I was surprised. I, want, I was sitting there. When you was talking about that, I was just sitting there thinking, that would be weird to hear your song come back in German, Georgia. Yeah. It sounds different. <laughs> it does. When the crowds are singing, it sounds different. <laughs> That is wild, man. It's cool. I'd have loved to been on that. That would have been fun as Next shit. Next time, if I ever get to go again, I'll take you. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Hell, I'll pay my own damn way just as long as I can go. <laughs> uh, drinking buddy. Yeah. That thing has been, like, just skyrocketing. Thank you. I love that song. Uh, you know, I love the whole feel of it. You know, I mean, it was just... It, it it was one of those songs at the end of it you was just like it was just right here man yeah that one i was just thinking of all the people that i'd lost that i wish i could spend time with and everybody's got people like that and no matter where you go or what you're doing you're just thinking about them and yeah that was uh that was one of those songs and i came on that i came up on that hook and i was like yeah i think there's something there yeah i'll be drinking buddy yeah yeah and it, yeah it was right there i love dude. that song i had to get it out i had to get it out it i had a real good friend of mine and we used to go mudding in the side by sides and stuff mm -hmm. go hunting all that stuff and he passed away from cancer mm -hmm. and then i run across that song and i was just like dude it fucking hit yeah it was right there man thank you i, I love loved that it song i'm glad you like it too it, it, it just, well i mean that's what i've been telling because a lot of the newer country artists, which you fall in that category, mm -hmm. y'all are doing things 
more towards the old school country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, adding the it's steels. Back, yeah. yeah, y'all are bringing a lot of things back. Thank you. And I'm loving the hell out of it. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah. the, and a lot of people are saying that you know it's just it's just amazing how well y'all are doing. Yeah, I feel like it. Uh, the music coming out right now, it is feeling more authentic than it than it has in a good while. Like it feels like, uh, you know, it's cool too because you'll hear a song that's like completely like '80s country, and mm-hmm. then maybe somebody will put out a song that same day that sounds like a '90s country, and it's or you'll hear something that sounds more outlaw country. And it's all working right now, and it's exciting. Oh, it yeah, is, it, cool. it really is. I love it because it, it just, dude, the whole, I feel the vibe changing, mm-hmm. you know. And I've always been one of those guys that just, I love music that will strike a chord in my heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the way y'all been writing here lately. It's coming back. It, everything will have a wave. And uh, it is. It's coming back. I love cool. it. <laughs> now we just have some bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> what are you pointing at? You pointing at me? What do you want? You want the pen? Yeah, you keep clicking it. It's my little fidget toy. I know, but I can hear it. <laughs> He's trying to tell you something, and you're sitting there clicking. <laughs> I love my team. They don't put up with my shit. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Where's my fidget toy? We can't find it. Oh, well, see, there it goes. <laughs> I fidget a lot, or I'll play with cables. I do, too. Or... It's hard not to. I know. And, well, when I first started the show, all the boards and everything was over on the, my table. So I controlled everything. Yep. And then Caitlin come along, and uh, I handed the rein over to her for the producing part of it. And now i got nothing to do. I'm yeah. just like, fidget. Yeah. Hey, I bought you a fidget toy. I know. I don't know where it's at. There's no telling where it's at. You just yeah. Spin on your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Those are fun. It's crazy shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you feel like was was the big song for you that that helped break you out? So. Oh, the song that that broke me out, uh, Palomino Princess. And uh, I wrote that one by myself. It was the first song I ever wrote by myself that was any good. And. <laughs> <laughs> it got me a record deal and a publishing deal, and uh, that's one that everybody, if they know a song by me, it's that song. And uh, I got to write some more like that one. I'm still trying to, still trying to beat that first song. <laughs> but I got some good ones. I got some coming out this year. I'm excited about. I got a full length album that'll be up by the end of the year. So oh, that'll be awesome. I'm excited. That, that's something I miss because everybody's doing like EPs or yep. dropping singles. I miss the full album. I don't. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't think I ever put out a full album, so I'm I'm going to. It'll be cool, and it's just songs that I've been wanting to put out for a while. That's just set there, and I'm like, why is this song not out? And there's probably I don't know at least 14, 16 songs, and uh, they're all done. So I'm just kind of going through and listening to. And seeing what jumps out at me, like, oh, this one's got to get out there. Yeah. Or if one has a good reaction on uh, social media, you know, that's a good indicator of it needs to come out. Or if people are requesting it shows. But right now it's kind of fun because all the songs are done. I'm just looking through them and listening and yeah. picking out the good ones. <laughs> I hope there's a few in there. <laughs> that's what I always wondered about. You know, it's just like, yeah, how long do y'all sit there and listen to your stuff over and over again trying to figure out which one? Yeah, I got I got to a point where it like, well, it's hard to listen to yourself because you're always wanting to change it, you know. Mm-hmm. Especially <clears throat> if it's an older song. So <clears throat> I would kind of, I kind of went a while without listening to it. So it's been fun to to go back and see what I was thinking at the time, what was I writing. Yeah, it's cool. That'd be awesome. I don't know if I could do it though. I, I'm so critical of myself. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's like I I can beat that vocal, and uh, <laughs> my producer and my manager they're all like, uh, "No, you can." I mean, it's perfect. You don't need to mess with. It. I'm like, I'm messing with it. So, but just tank our wheel that just, yeah, just a little bit. Her. It's hard not to <laughs> like the fidget spinner, like the <laughs> like yeah. the pen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just something to tinker with. Yeah, have fun with it, especially if you got access to a studio. 
Mm-hmm. I'd be in there all the time. Yeah. My studio's in my dining room. If I had a home <laughs> studio, I'd never leave the house. You wouldn't would have just, to. I'd Uber eat and just stay there. <laughs> yeah, all the time. You can even Uber eat the liquor store. Really? Yeah, you didn't know wow. that. I remember one time I Uber eated a a can of skull or something, and I don't think you can do it now, which is interesting. But alcohol, I didn't know that. I wonder if they changed that then. It might have. It might be back. Because for a while, I think I tried to do it again, and uh, I couldn't do it. Might have had COVID or something. Might have been like a year or two ago. There ain't no telling. Because I, I know you used to be able to order margaritas online. So, I mean. Yeah. I knew a lot of people ordering margaritas. Really? <laughs> you get anything on Timu. Yeah. Uh, for like a dollar. Uh, TikTok shop, all that's cheap. I don't know how they can make that stuff and sell it for a dollar. I mean, it's amazing. It's crazy. And then you go to the dollar store and everything's not a dollar anymore. It's a dollar twenty five at the Dollar Tree now. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, <laughs> it's about was, to go up to seven. Really? For some yeah. stuff, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was in the Dollar Tree like three days ago, and I just stocked up on different stuff and. It was great, but yeah, dollar twenty five now, seven dollars. That'll be crazy. Oh, it would be crazy. nuts. I don't know if I could do that. No. My favorite place to shop. Is it? Yeah, Julie loves the Dollar Tree. <laughs> that's awesome. It's great. I mean, you can find anything there. It's well, awesome. I mean, that's how you save a million dollars. Yeah. Just because you make a million dollars, don't mean you got to go spend a million dollars. Yeah. I'll still be, you know, thrifty. Do yep. what I've got to do. Thrift shop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with Marketplace. Nope. I love Marketplace. You can find a lot of stuff on there. You can find a good guitar on Marketplace, good to use guitars. I got a buddy. Yeah. He's got a problem. He gets on there, and he, he'll he buy a new guitar every month or, like, exchange or trade on. And it's a whole thing. It's like it's like a whole uh, community of people that swap stuff back and forth. It's fun. A guitar Marketplace right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you playing? Um, I'm playing Hard Rock Stage tomorrow. That'll be fun, 530. You're going to have a lot of fun with that. Yeah, that'll be fun. What acoustic guitar are you playing? Oh, Martin, D28, and I got a D18. And uh, I love Martin guitars. They're awesome. It's something about the tone with them. Yep. You can't get that same tone out of a Fender or... I'm not knocking the other guitars now, but I'm just... There's just something about a tone... Mm-hmm. with a martin it is crazy just the way it's made too like the strings are spaced just a little bit closer together mm-hmm. which, which i like because sometimes i'll play like some fast stuff or i've been getting into bluegrass a lot here recently too so but yeah like you said they're just something to that tone like it's punchy and clear but it also has the bottom in it's not all just bottom in it's just a well-balanced sound it? yeah yeah that's what i love about them yeah that's and great. and we're trying to get a Martin thing here. Come on. Oh, hey. that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Bring them in. <laughs> Me and Tyler both need a Martin deal, please. He does better than I do. <laughs> it gets crazy, man. Ooh, menthol. Yep, I got my shoes. I didn't bring nothing. You can't even smoke up here. You want one? Oh, I'm good. I'm okay. good. I appreciate it. Because that'll just make me want to go smoke. Yeah, yeah. And you can't do that. It gets nuts up there. Your newest single, when did it drop? Oh, man, it's been out. Mm, it says May. Still, yeah, back in May. So Yeah, May. Long ago. All this could be yours. Yeah. Did you, did you mean something with that? All this could be yours. Um, <laughs> just meeting somebody at a bar and <laughs> professing your love. That's all it's about. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good one. All right, sweet. What are you saying? Wrap it up. Oh. No, no. that's not what she was saying. I don't know what she's saying. She keeps doing this. They're driving me nuts. (laughs) This is the fun part. You get to see people walk by. Yeah. Are you a people watcher? Yeah. I love watching people. Especially on stage. It's cool to see, like, what everybody's doing, like, during the show. I suggested something earlier. And I don't know why nobody's thought about this. But, you know, when you're on stage, every now and then you'll see some of that back from the backstage towards the audience video every now and then. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see somebody just do a complete shoot with that. 
That'd be cool. From the start of the concert to the end of it. That would be cool. And you can go through there and you can see all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It'd be crazy. Wow, it got loud in here. Did you hear how loud that that noise came from nowhere? Someone walked through. The cicadas are back. I love the cicadas. Oh, gosh. I couldn't do it. I'm <laughs> so glad. Have you heard about people eating them? Uh-uh. Yeah, they frying them up. Wow. I have no clue. That's not right. It's not. Oh. I don't want to eat the little demon bugs. Mm-mm. Let, let the turkeys have them. I'm not eating. <laughs> they're good to fish with, though. Are they? Yeah, they're fun. Oh, wow, I bet. Yeah, like a big cricket. Mm. That's what they look like. Yeah. And the fish love them. Mm. Don't know why. Yeah, they're interesting. Cicadas. I guess we don't have to deal with them for a while because the seven-year ones came out and the 14 ones. They all came out, but they were more around Nashville than they were up north. I believe it because they were deafening some places you go like mm -hmm. i'd go to the the grocery store and it's just so like that's all you'd hear is cicadas i was in a studio and we were like can we record today because they're so loud outside you know? yeah but uh yeah i think it's more because of the river mm -hmm. and we got more lakes down around nashville area i think it's the softer soil that's the more moisture right yeah they can dig better i guess i don't know i have no clue <laughs> <laughs> they were low, like they were just so many here. Oh, it's nuts. And I went to East Tennessee on vacation. I was hiking somewhere out in the country, and there was hardly none. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. We go out East Tennessee over there to uh, Royal Blue. Oh, yeah. We go riding side by side oh, out there. Oh, but now that's and then. fun. Yeah. It's a blast out there, yeah. dude. Royal Blue. Royal Blue, and then you got uh, Windrock. Yeah. It's old coal mining roads and oh, stuff. Oh, that'd be cool. It's badass. And yeah. they've got, uh, you can go way up top this one area. And it's almost like Lookout Mountain. You look out and that's all you see is, is everything for miles and miles around. That's awesome. Yeah, we used to ride all the time before I started touring. Uh, there's a bunch of places like in Pikeville, mm -hmm. East Kentucky, like Strip Mine, just up on the mountain. It, it was dope. Yep. I miss it. Yep, and then uh, Land Between the Lakes. You been to Land Between the Lakes? Uh-uh. Where's that? It, right there off the uh, Kentucky Lake. Oh, wow. Uh-uh. I need to see it. That'd Kentucky cool. Lake is huge. Is it really? Yeah, it really is. But that's where we get to go and do stuff. That's awesome. I have no clue what the hell they're doing. Oh, man. <laughs> there's, there's so many conversations going <laughs> so many people. And the noise thing, where the hell did they, who walked through? That's what I want to know. You can always tell the noise goes up. Yeah. Or if it gets real quiet. Well, it wasn't me. I can tell you that. <laughs> 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 who walked through that was so loud? You don't know. Uh, she don't know either. That's pretty bad when your staff don't know what the hell's going on. It's fun to, to just see everybody at CMA Fest, all your old friends and it's really cool. Huh? What did they do? Oh, is that the ones that came through? Oh, they start shit everywhere they go. <laughs> There's a rowdy bunch amongst us. Mm-hmm. Rowdy. Rowdy. They crazy. You got to watch them. That's a good thing. We didn't have alcohol in this room. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'd have been, I'd be happy lit spot now. <laughs> and I don't even really drink that much, but yeah, yeah, same. it's just sometimes you got to have the, something to take the edge off, yep. you know? Get a little energy. Get, Get a little, little energy. <laughs> Before the show, sometimes I'll take a shot. It's like a little ritual we do, you know? What do you, when you're doing crowds, what's the biggest crowd you played so far? Oh, uh, oh gosh. I don't know. Probably when I opened for Brooks and Dunn, that'd been a few years ago. Um, it was one of them big stadiums. I can't remember exactly where. I mean, it was in Indiana, I think. I can't remember the name of that uh, that stadium, but it it was nice. It was big. I don't know how many people it would have held, though. There ain't no telling. Yeah. But uh, before you go on stage, do you look out to see who's out there? Sometimes. If it's, if it's more me headlining, sometimes I want to see, like, who all I know out there. Right. 
But then it makes me nervous. I'm like, oh, shoot, so-and-so's out there. And it, I'll get in my head about it. So I I like to – it's like one of them things I get tempted into doing. It's like I shouldn't see who all's out there because it'll make me nervous, but I'm probably going to because I can't help it. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, because that's uh, – because it's weird because before I do a show, I get nervous. Yeah. Because you never know how the conversation is going to go. Uh-uh. Yeah. And I'm one of those guys that ain't got no filter. Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can get like that sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. If I drink a little bit, I'll I'll just be a chatterbox. Don't know what I'm talking about. Just like cutting up too much. Probably aggravating everybody. <laughs> That's me. I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Good God, buddy. Hey, Caitlin, tell everybody shut up. That's not my job. That's the media staff people's job. Yeah, me and Tyler can't even hear what the hell we're talking about. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. That's funny. Well, the good news is it's not coming in the mic, so if you can't hear, just turn up. Just turn up. Turn up. Turn up. There's your song right there. <laughs> turn up. Where are we at? Which one are Are you good? I'm good. You're good? Yeah, I got a lot of audio. Yeah. Headset. Well, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those cameras are nice. Which ones? Canon. Yeah. Those are nice. Yeah, it's the uh, same ones Rogan uses. Really? Yeah. I bet they're high end. Uh, they run you about 1200 a piece. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I've just, I've got a thing. What are you doing this? What's this? I don't know. It's just blue. It's whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are a rowdy bunch. They're rowdy. <laughs> it did get quieter. Yeah, see, it did. it did. We all noticed. That is nuts, man. That's I funny. can't believe that crap. Oh lord, have y'all caught any of the shows yet? You gonna catch some shows? I wanted to, but when we get done here today, I've got to go to the underground. Oh, because Nashville I, Underground. Yeah, that I, place is nice. Yeah. I'm MC in the. Uh, they're on the second. I think we're on the second floor. I'm emceeing the the showcase up there. Oh, so that'd be cool. I was there yesterday, actually, up on the rooftop, just yeah. hanging out, drinking. Yeah, it was fun. It's pretty nice. It is, it is a nice place. They got the little bowling pins, <laughs> all the games. It's it's fun. That's what I said. It's a it's a Dave and Buster's for alcoholics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen some alcoholics in yeah. Dave and Buster's too. <laughs> I haven't ever been to Dave and Buster's. Oh, it's great. It, it's too much fun. Just get the tour bus, pull everybody up, and go, okay, here's your fun for the day. Yeah. No, it, it is a good time. If you if you got a couple of hours to kill, Dave and Buster's. Mm. And right across the Opry, there's one. Yeah. And uh, Yeah, you know, right there in the uh, wonderful Opry Mills. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I liked it better when it was Opry Land. Yeah. Man, the traffic. It, it's rough, isn't it? Some, oh, yeah. Like right now, it's rough, yeah. Well, when we left yesterday to get out of here, uh, it was like, I bet we sat in traffic for about an hour. Really? Just trying to get out of here. Wow. And then we left, and I went and had a big old burger and a couple of beers, and I, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. Time to go home, go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tyler. Man, I look forward to seeing more from you because your voice is that old school country sound to it. And I just, dude, I've been digging your shit. The Thank the you. music that you got, I'm trying to be nice. I've been digging the shit you've been putting out. Thank you. And it's good stuff. I man. hope I did okay. I get, I get nervous. No. In interviews. <laughs> no, you're good, man. <laughs> cool. Thank you for my, having me. It's awesome. My show is more laid back, yeah. shoot the shit. Yeah. And... Of course, it'd be, you'll have to come to the house. We're right there in Portland, That'd Tennessee. That'd be awesome. I'd love to. Yeah, and hell, we'll throw some steaks on the grill and drink some bourbon and shoot shit. That'd be awesome. Let's do that. Awesome. Thank you so much. Cool, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you. And we'll be back in a little while. Toodles.
Toodle.